I have not filmed this video in over three years. Three. I am going to give you the total number of bags. It is 51 because if you're anything like me when you watch a collection video, you're counting the bags and then you lose count and you go backwards on the video and keep counting. So I am going to save you from being the count on Sesame Street today and tell you the total number of bags. Hi, I hope you're having a wonderful day today. As you can tell from the title of the video, I am going to be sharing my entire luxury bag collection. I have not done this in over three years. There's a lot of reasons for that, but one of the biggest ones is it's a really big pain because I don't film in the room where my bags are and I have to move them all into here. So why am I doing it now? Well, I needed to clean out my closet. I have purchased a lot of new bags and I just needed to rearrange the space. Uh, I just wanted to give it a good deep cleaning. So the bags were gonna come out one way or the other. And by putting them in this room versus in the bedroom, that gave me more time to clean the closet out. So I get asked all the time how I store my bags and if I will share that. Um, I'm not gonna share it visually. Um, my husband does not want our closet um, to be out there visually, but I will tell you how I store them. Uh, I used to always keep them in the dust bags. I have taken them out of the dust bags in 2020 and it's just so much cheerful and it's just so pretty to look at them so it's not pretty to look at dust bags the exception to that is my Cappy Scenes um, Python handle uh, that one is always in a dust bag because Python is very delicate but so I just needed to rearrange some space and I also wanted to clean my bags I bought these little white um, baby washcloths from Gerber. I have a big set of these. Just going to give everything a nice little wipe down. Um, as far as my closet goes, I love it. Um, it's not, I mean, if you want to see a beautiful closet, Lux Mommy. Oh my goodness. I <laughs> love her closet. I love my closet. I have a lot of space. I could probably easily fit 200 bags in there. I have a lot of shelving. We've had it custom made. But the one thing about my closet, if you have one like mine, um, we had the builder come back who, um, the carpenter come back who, who built the original closet, which was semi-custom, and we had it done the way we wanted. Ours are wood, actual wood and painted wood. So dust bags are on all of the shelves so that the bags do not ever touch the wood. Unlike um, the closets by design, California closets, Ikea, whatever that kind of slick material is, I don't have that. I have just regular wood. Um, I was so lucky our painter was at our house and he was like, I had California closets and closets by design come in and he was like, why don't you use the guy that built the closet originally because then he could salvage some pieces and I was like, I didn't know I could do that. He charged us less than half and I had the whole laundry room done with shelving and hanging and, and just it was great. So I don't have that slicky, you know, material on my closet. So I do put everything sitting on a dust bag. So before we get into the video, if you're new to my channel, my name is Melinda. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate it and I would love it if you would just take one moment and hit that subscribe button down below. I don't do video disclaimers, but I just kind of want to say something briefly because there's a lot of new viewers on my channel. I've had a lot of new subscribers lately. Um, I did not start purchasing luxury until I was, luxury bags, until I was 40, 41 years old and both of our children's college tuitions were fully funded. Our children had brand new cars. We were driving around in 11 year old cars. We have always maxed out our 401k, our retirement taking care of our future. We have always traveled. We have taken our children all over the United States, Canada, and Mexico. Um, we've always lived, I, I think, a balanced life. And for us, it was the right thing to do to wait to purchase luxury. I didn't need to be buying it before all those other things are funded. I'm a big believer of live and let live. And if you don't think the way I do, that's totally fine. I am going to try to go through these as quickly as possible. Um, I think I already said this, there's 51 luxury handbags. 
it's a lot. It, it is a lot. The majority of my time on YouTube, it's been between 20 and 30. I stopped selling my bags. I have a video on that and I have a follow-up video coming out later on that. I have not filmed it yet, but I have all my notes written down. Um, so it would be 53 if you count our key balls, which I'm going to show you our key balls because I don't know. I just am. <laughs> this is mine. I've had it a long time. It's the keep ball. I believe it's a 35. It's the smallest keep ball that they have. It is in Damier Ben. And I'm going to start with Louis Vuitton first. I should have said that. This, this is overwhelming to me. I want this stuff back on the shelves. I cannot stand disorder. I really cannot. Uh, this is my husband's bag. It's the same size. It is in Damier Graffite. We used to take these on the plane. These do fit under the front seat of Southwest. You do not get a lot of leg room if you do that. Um, but I have found since we purchased these, they now have the bags with the four wheels and they have the trolley sleeve, um, like the long chomps that I carry with the trolley sleeves. It's just much easier to use these for car travel. So the very, very first bag that started the whole thing, and hang on because I'm going to have to put some of these on my desk. I am surrounded right now. Okay, I'm going to try to talk faster and I'm going to try not to tell stories, which is hard. <laughs> I like to tell stories. This was the very first bag that I ever got. I'm telling a story after I just said I wasn't going to tell a story, but this was my very first one ever. The Louis Vuitton Trevi in the PM size. Love, love, love this bag. I have reviews on all of these bags. I have mod shots. If you just want to go through my channel and look, um, I'm not going to be inserting any of those today. This is my second oldest bag from Louis Vuitton. It is the Totally PM. This baby does not get a lot of love, but it is never going anywhere. It is a fabulous zip top tote with a lot of organization. I love this bag. And I thought I would just continue with the bigger bags. And the next one is my loop in the GM size and the reverse monogram. Absolutely adore this one. So next are my Alba BBs. I have the Dambier Aben. I did get the hot stamp with an M on that one. I have the Rose Ballerine in the Epi Leather. And I also have the Empreinte uh, in the black, um, the black empreinte, <laughs> trying to find something else to say about it. This one opens wider and holds more than the other two. I love the Alma. And this is the Cappy Scenes BB with the Python handle, the one that I always leave in the dust bags. So continuing with Louis Vuitton, the next one I have in my collection is the Louis Vuitton Odeon in the PM size. I have heard, and I cannot remember who the user was that told me, but this is gone from several countries' websites. So I do believe this one is going to be discontinued. If you're interested in it, I would run. This is a fantastic bag. I have a lot of reviews on that one, and it's in a lot of my like favorite travel videos crossbody videos, all of that. This is one of my favorites. It is the Montaigne BB. This would be definitely an MM size by today's standards. And the color of this is Rose Poudre. One of my newest bags that I adore in that is my Louis Vuitton Neo Noe with the caramel um, leather. Okay, the last four from Louis Vuitton are my Speedy 20 in the monogram. My Speedy 20 limited edition. This one was by the pool in the Empreinte leather. And I love this one. A lot of people don't, but I love this one. It is my Neo Noe bag with the shearling trim. And the last one is my Neo Noe. Um, I don't know what this collection was called, but it has the braided trim and the interior of this one is that beautiful rose ballerine color. New eye candy. I put all the Louis Vuitton ones back into the closet. And I should have said this before, just because my closet can hold that many bags, I do not ever want to get close to that amount of bags. So let's keep moving into um, Saint Laurent. So the first one that I have is my Riv Gauche tote. And this one goes with me to the beach. It is roomy, raffia, really cute. The next one is, is my oldest. I think this is my first Saint Laurent bag. And this is 
the Mini Lou camera bag. I don't use this one very often because I'm not into mini bags, but when I do, this is actually a really great bag. The next one is the medium college bag. The color of this was called Brick. The next one is the Baby Nikki, and the color of this one was called Storm. If I remember colors, I will try to tell you. Uh, the next one is the Lou camera bag, and I think I think maybe it was just light beige. I'm not really sure on that one. And my final one from Saint Laurent is the medium Nikki bag, and the color was caramel, and this one has the gold hardware. So all the Saint Laurent bags are put back. I am really liking what I have done so far. I guess I'm just gonna continue doing that the rest of the video because I have to pause it anyways. So the next three I'm gonna share with you are brands, uh, bags that I only have one from each brand. The first one is from Tiffany & Co. And it is this beautiful Tiffany blue, Terillion leather, little mini tote. So cute. So cute. And the next one is from Mulberry. This is my only Mulberry bag. They have this color back this season. I think the color is oak on this one. Fabulous, fabulous tote. It is all leather. The inside of it is suede. I do have an organizer in there from Zamoni, but this is a great tote. And then the last one is my Chloe Woody tote. And this one is in the navy uh, leather trim. This is probably the best size tote that I have for my needs um, next to the Totally. The Totally is a little bit too big, but those are the three I have from those brands. Okay, so the next three are from Gucci. All three of these are discontinued. The first one is the Eden backpack. I adore this backpack. I love this part right here. I can put all of my essentials in there, like when we go to Disneyland or um, my daughters and I went uh, and toured a cave um, last summer and I brought this and it's just fabulous. This is the Eden, if I did not say. If you're interested on the pre-love market, I have the um, Gucci Disco bag and the color of this one is Rose Beige. And my last one is, it's just all of their Ophidia bags are just called Ophidia. So it is an Ophidia flat bag and this one is long and crossbody. So I got all the Gucci put away. Every time I put something in there, I'm getting happier and happier. I didn't have the bags in there when I was rearranging everything and it is so far working out the way I wanted it to. So I'm very happy about that. I would love to show it to you, but I have a great deal of respect for my husband and his wishes. So I would take a picture because that makes me happy. <laughs> but anyways, let's move on to Loewe. I have three Loewe bags. They're the same bag. <laughs> I have the one in um, this one was light caramel. It has the gold hardware and it has the textured leather. This is my oldest one. It has two different leathers. It has the smooth and the texture. This was sand and mink, my most used out of the three. And my newest one, which is in the smooth leather with the black with the silver. And I do get asked about this leather versus this one. So far I can I think it's just as durable. I haven't had it as long, but I have taken this on a trip to Boston. I don't see any scratches or marks on it, so um, don't be afraid of the smooth Loewe. <laughs> okay, so we're starting to lose some eye candy here. Um, let's move on to Fendi. I have um, six Fendi bags and I have two Fendi Defender covers. I don't count these. This is not in the number, but I do have the brown one and I did do the hot stamp for M. And then I do have that fun yellow that they did. It's so cute. I love these. I just think these really, we'll set that there so we have some eye candy. There we go. <laughs> and we'll set this one over here. I think that they're just fun and they just do something fun with your peekaboos. So speaking of peekaboos, my oldest bag from Fendi is my black peekaboo. It is in the Napa lambskin leather. I adore this bag. It's so, so beautiful. I also have it in the calf leather and the color, I was, I don't know if it was just called white or if it was called off-white. And then last January, I picked it up in the ICU small size and this one is in the color 
um, Dove, and this is my oldest peekaboo. No, it's not. Not peekaboo. It's not a peekaboo. <laughs> this is. It's not my oldest mini bag either. Never mind. Anyways, this is my Montresor bucket bag. I love this. I have on a strap that I purchased from Fendi. This is the only strap that I have ever purchased that I love, love, love. It's it's skinny, it's light, it's comfortable, and I just think it looks super cute with this bucket bag. And then my giant sunshine shopper tote. And this one I think is beautiful and it is the same color as the peekaboo. And this is the one that I bought the strap and it's not as heavy as the Louis Vuitton one, but it's it's too big. I really wanted it for crossbody with this and it, it works better on this bag, but it's very pretty. It says Fendi all the way down it. I'm losing stuff. Stuff's trying to fall away from me, but there is the strap that I got that says Fendi. So you can see that. Okay, and then my newest bag. I'm so, so excited about this one. This is the Fendi First in the crystal with the crystal FFs. It is, oh my goodness, it's a jewelry, it's jewelry in a handbag. <laughs> this is just stunningly beautiful. Show you the inside of that one. Okay, so we're getting closer. <laughs> okay, so let's do Dior now. I have three Dior bags. My oldest one is the Dior Diorama. The color was Rose Poudre, which was super confusing because they had two versions of Rose Poudre out that year. This one is a baby pink. The other one was a little bit more taupey. The inside of this one is suede. It is just a beautiful, beautiful bag. Champagne gold hardware. I have never fallen out of love with this bag. This is one of my oldest bags. And then the two that I got last year from Dior, I bought myself this gorgeous medium Lady Dior and it is in the raffia. It's just an absolutely beautiful bag. It is fun, it is summery, and I just absolutely love it. And then my newest one that my husband purchased for me, this was Christmas and Valentine's Day, he told me. <laughs> He's like, all the Christmas, it that I'm covering both holidays, and I agree with him. <laughs> this is in the Mella Cotton Pink, is what they call it on the website. It is like an iridescent pink. It is so beautiful. You can see I got the stickers off there. I haven't taken them off of the rings yet. Um, I have not even had it a week, so, and I haven't been able to wear it because it's been raining or snowing. So there it is, and it is a beauty. Okay, we are getting there, y'all. We have Chanel and Hermes left. I just put up some contemporary bags behind me. My mom's beautiful hot pink uh, Kate Spade and two Aspinall of London Mayfair bags. So let's get into the Chanel. The first one is one that I, I haven't showed it in forever. I still get DMs, I still get comments, always people wanting to buy this bag. It is never going to be for sale. This is my Chanel Rock and Rome bag in the black caviar with the ruthenium hardware. It is just a fabulous bag, has part of the boy chain, has a very long uh, leather strap for a shoulder bag, so it's super comfortable. Very similar to the Pouchette Matisse inside. Love, love, love this bag. And this one, I have had it so long, and when I open it, it just smells like fresh out of the store leather. It just smells wonderful. The next one, get this set down right, is my Chanel boy bag. I have no idea. They have confused me so much with new medium, old medium. It is the smaller of the two where the strap cannot fit through this o-ring and catch on your hair. I have never had this catch on my hair. And this one is again black caviar with ruthenium hardware. Put that up there. And then my next one is my Chanel medium flap. And this one is again in caviar and it is black with gold hardware. Just such a timeless classic bag. And then my last classic flap is my Chanel Jumbo, again, black caviar, silver hardware. And 
This one is a beauty. My last Chanel bag is the Deauville Tote, and that one is also in the caviar leather, but this one has champagne gold hardware on it. It's a big bag. You can see how big it is. Okay, so let's get into Hermes. So, I'm gonna say what you're thinking. My Chanel collection is boring. It really is. It's all black. It's all caviar. It's a pretty boring collection, but they are beautiful, timeless bags. I am a little frustrated right now. <laughs> I finished this entire video. I was working on editing it in iMovie, and I got the dreaded rainbow wheel, which means what part of the video is going to get corrupted? <laughs> It was the Hermes. Thank goodness it was only the end section because everything was put away and I am really, really happy with how I organized my, um, my closet. So as boring as my Chanel collection is, I think my Hermes collection makes up for it. I have eight Hermes bags and I have a lot of fun color. I, the Chanel bags, oh, the last Chanel bag I bought was the, um, the big tote. All the other ones are much older than that. I think 2019 probably was the last time I bought that was the boy bag. So yeah, the Hermes is gonna make up for it, I hope, I think. <laughs> so let's get into this. Oh my goodness, <laughs> pull everything back out. The first bag that I have is the Evelyn TPM or the Mini Evelyn and the color of this is Blue Sapphire and I was super excited to get the Blue Sapphire because my uh, when I got my Birkin I was offered this color or black and of course I went with black <laughs> so it was fun to add this very bright pop of color in in a smaller bag. I have another mini Evelyn. I'm pretty sure the color of this is Rouge Decor. I am pretty sure, um, pretty sure, but I'm not positive. <laughs> um, it is an orangey bright red. It is so fun in the summer with some white jeans. It's just a fun, fun color. And I have four Evelyns. I said that in the, the last video, so I'm trying to remember again. Um, my first Evelyn that I ever got is in the PM size. And this one is in the gold with the gold hardware. I love the straps on the Evelyn. They're super adjustable. They're super comfortable. You have that back pocket. This is in the Clements leather, and that is a bigger grain and if I haven't said it, both of these are in Maurice leather, which is a tighter grained leather than the Clements. Maybe if I show it on the side without the strap, you can see the, the leathers a little bit better there. And then my newest um, Evelyn <laughs> is in Vert Bosphor. See, you've had some fun color. <laughs> This color is such a beauty. It's such a chameleon. It changes color. It's a beautiful blue green color. It goes with so many things and I just love, I love the Evelyns. I am very casual. The Evelyns are very casual and they're very easy to wear. Okay, so my newest bag from Hermes is the Geta bag and I just got this very recently. I think it's absolutely beautiful. This is in the Chev Mysore leather, which is goat skin. And that's the back. It's, it takes a second. I mean, if it's on your body, you'll know which side to open it, but it just has a magnetic flap. The inside of this one is swift and it is just a beautiful bag. It's very similar strap to the Evelyn. Very, very adjustable. You can make this into a shoulder bag. I intend to wear it crossbody. I really, really like this one. And then my one and only Birkin. And I'm so happy that I went with the black over the blue sapphire, even though I love that color, blue sapphire. It just does not get any more classic than black and gold. And as you saw, I like black when you saw my Chanel collection. This is a Birkin 30. The leather on this one is Novillo. It is a very smooth grain leather. It feels very, very supple to the touch. It is a beautiful, beautiful leather. Love this bag. And the next one is my Kelly in the size 
32. The style is return, which I'm probably mispronouncing, but it just means that the stitches have been turned in and sewn that way. The leather on this one is Togo and it has gold hardware again. This is a stunning bag. Let me show it to you next to the Birkin 30. They're very similar in size. You would think the Kelly 32 sounds really, really big, and it really is not that big. This color is like the Vert Bosphor, where it kind of changes all of the time. It is just stunning. When I see this in my closet, I smile every single time. I'm so happy that I went my very first quota bag and I went for color and I'm very happy that I did do that. And lastly is my special order bag from Hermes and this is the Kelly size 28. It is in the Selly A style which means that you've got the the <laughs> I can't come up with words after Oh, the rainbow wheel is all I can think of. <laughs> but the stitching, you know, it's, it's, it's not turned in. The words are gone. I had them in the last video. The color of this is Gris, Pearl, and Etope. And I went with the brushed hardware. The leather on this is, again, the goat skin, the Chev Mysore. I desperately wanted a Cellier. Kelly and I did not want Epsom and so I was so thrilled to be offered a special order because it's pretty rare to find one that is not in Epsom. So I know that's a lot of bags. It is a lot of bags. As I said, I've usually kept between 20 to 30 and 51 is, it's a lot. I am not ready to label myself a collector. I'm not, I'm not there yet. Jewelry, yeah. I've been collecting since high school. <laughs> There's just no getting around the collector word for jewelry. Um, my goal is to rotate these a lot better, but I also have an understanding of bags like the small, um, the small mini YSL bag that I showed you. Those are for certain occasions. That's not going to be used a lot by me because I'm not into bags that tiny, but so I just, I'm looking at it differently, but I'm gonna have a follow-up video on why the collection is so big. <laughs> and and um, just kind of follow up with my thoughts on that. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, it may be three years before <laughs> I take the time to do this again, and maybe with a new computer. <laughs> I hope you have an amazing day today. Take care, bye-bye.